Welcome to the Network Essential series. In this video, let's talk about static and dynamic IP addresses. A static IP address is an IP that doesn't change at any point after receiving it. You'll always know your IP allowing you to host any service or access your local network much easier. However, as static IPs don't change, they make it easier for hackers to scan your device and attack any services hosted on or behind your router. To avoid cyber incidents, you can change your router's password once in a while or apply additional rules to your firewall. But your network can still be vulnerable to cyber attacks for several reasons. A dynamic IP address is the opposite of a static one. It changes periodically or whenever you reboot your device. So, note that the frequency of the change depends on settings established by your Internet Service Provider, or ISP for short. A dynamic IP address has one peculiarity – it's not stationary. Imagine you have a router with a public, dynamic IP address that changes every 12 hours. For the first 12 hours, you'll know your router's IP, and you'll be able to access it or any additional device within its LAN network if your firewall settings allow it. After those 12 hours, its IP address changes, and you don't know the new one. Of course, there are steps and methods for getting that information. If your router supports mobile connectivity and SMS functions, you can send it a text asking what's the new IP address. You can also contact your ISP directly and request that information. You can use dynamic DNS services or a virtual private network to reach your router. However, if you don't use these services or they go down, you need to have local access to your router to figure out the new IP address. Otherwise, it won't be possible to manage and configure it. A dynamic IP address can be a great way to make your network more secure, as its ever-changing one IP address challenges consistent hacking attempts. But it's important to note that, at the end of the day, your network security doesn't depend only on the type of IP address you have. It consists of many factors, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We hope this video helped you understand the difference between static and dynamic IP addresses. If you have any suggestions on what we should discuss next, let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.